ओम ज्ञानतिरांधस्य ज्ञानाजनशलाकया चक्षुरुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम मूक कौति वाचाल पंगुलांघा ते गिरी यत्तमह वंदे श्रीगुर दीनताणम कृपया क्षमतामपराधिजनम खलु शायुतशक्त सुदीन नर सुपथे परिचाल सर्वतीन प्रणमा चधव देवपदम वाछाकलपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य गौरत्षे नम पंचतवात्मक भक्तस्वक भक्तावता भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति तप्त कांचन गौरांगिराधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रि हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका का राधाका नमोस्तुते भुजे सव्यवेणु शिशि शिखि पिछम कटितटे दुकूल नेत्रांते सहचर कटाक्ष विदधते सदा श्रीमद्वृंदवन वसति लीला परिचय जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथगा मे वंदे नंदव्रजस्त्री पादरेणुमीक्षणश याशा हरिकथोदीत पुनाती भुवन भक्त विहीन अपराध लक्ष्य क्षिप्ता कामतरंगे कृपाई ता शरण प्रपन्न वृंदे नुमस्ते चरणारविंद भूमस्वखलित भूमिवलबन तय्यजातराधा शरण प्रभु वागीशा यस्य वदने लक्ष्मीयसी यशास्ति हृद संवित निसिहां भजे श्रीकृष्णचैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिवाशदिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर बंद कर दो सो वी आर हियरिंग द कॉन्वर्जेशन बिटवीन यदु एंड अवधूत ब्राह्मण स्टेड वी हर्ड द लेसन दट अवधूत हैड लर्न फ्रॉम the moon just like there are different phases in the moon but the moon himself does not undergo any transformations by the influence of time it slowly you know wanes and then it waxes it you know with every day it is increasing or decreasing but the moon itself does not undergo any changes so in a similar way even though the body may undergo so many kinds of transformations but the atma which is inside the body does not undergo any transformations and from the fire from the so many sparks take birth and they also extinct over a period of time in a similar way innumerable living beings are getting generated and they are also extincting means not the not the souls but the but the bodies so many innumerable numerous bodies are getting created and they are also getting finished but alakshita bhava without being noticed how it is happening when it is happening without any knowledge of that and from sun what lesson he learnt is that just like sun 
absorbs water from earth and then when time appropriate comes he gives that water back to the earth in a similar way whatever has been offered to a sadhu he does not have any attachment to it nor does he think that material belongs to him when the time appropriate or a suitable person comes he gives it to the living being only but he does not enjoy those <coughs> and also just like the sun is reflected in different uh, you know reflective items like the mirrors or the metals or some other things it is reflected in different ways but ultimately it is one sun who is getting reflected in many different uh, objects in a similar way the paramatma is also like that he is one without a you know being many but still when he is present in the bodies or you know uh, uh, what do you call in the in the translation shri prabhupada writes that when the atma is in the body in the different bodies it gives reflection of that body but it is actually the atma that is being reflected in different species but it is only one that parmatma is only one the identity becomes many because i am this i am this i am this but ultimately it is only one atma now we will read from 11th canto 7th chapter verse number 52 nati sneha prasango va kartavya kvapi kenachit kurvan vandet santapam kapot iva dinadhi कोनो विषये कारौ सहित अति स्नेह अथवा लालन पालन आदि प्रसंग कर्तव्य नहे जेहेतु ताहाते विवेक शून्य कपोते नाय संतापग्रस्त होइते होय सो ही लर्नड अ लेसन फ्रॉम अ पीजियन सो द व्हाट व्हाट लेसन ही लर्नड फ्रॉम अ पीजियन ही इज एक्सप्लेनिंग हियर एज वी वॉक अलोंग द स्ट्रीट्स और एज वी मूव अलोंग इन वेरियस प्लेसेस if we have the proper vision to take lesson by seeing the various movements of the objects or things we can learn for lessons from that also provided we have the vision and the desire to do so so from a pigeon from particular actions of a pigeon he learnt a lesson he is telling that you should never have affection or concern for anyone for anything too much too much of concern or affection for anything in this material world is going to be dangerous this he has learnt lesson from a pigeon a pigeon who became overwhelmed by the affection that he has got towards his children and towards his wife because of his over attachment to that he became he lost his intelligence and because of that he even lost his own life so from this he is telling that when person becomes overly attached to anything then he becomes you know foolish and he becomes overwhelmed with that affection or concern for the other person he becomes foolish and then thus in lamentation he will give up his own life so from a pigeon he learned this lesson that story is being narrated here how a pigeon got attached to his family and then ultimately that became a cause of his you know his own downfall or his own you know death is being explained here shla vishnu chakravarti thakur writes in the commentary kapot hoyte shikhar bishay bolte chen kahar sahito kono roop atishay sneho ba atishay asakto arthat upalalanaadi dwara asakto hoy benna so from this the lesson is that from the pigeon the lesson that is to be learnt is never have over attachment or over concern for anyone or for anything in this world this is the lesson by that one becomes attached 
विद दैट अटैचमेंट पंखा बंद करना है पंखा बंद करना तो कर दो देन दैट विल बिकम कॉज ऑफ इज ओन पेरिश इसलिए प्रभुपाद राइट्स इन द कॉमेंट्री जीव मात्र ही भगवान एर नित्य सेवक द लिविंग एंटिटी इज एन इटर्नल सर्वेंट ऑफ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड सूत्रांग भगवत सेवा परित्याग करिया अन्य जे को भोग्य वस्तुर सेवाए नियुक्त था कि से ही सकल नश्वर वस्तुते स्नेह व आसक्ति वशत ताहा के विरह कातर कपोत दंपति न्याय क्लेश पाईते हैं सो द इटर्नल नेचर ऑफ ए लिविंग एंटिटी इज दट ही इज अ सर्वेंट ऑफ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण इफ अ लिविंग एंटिटी हैज अ डिजायर एनीथिंग अदर देन दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम एन एंजॉयर ऑफ दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड और एनी थिंग वेन ही वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम द एंजॉयर and he becomes he engages himself in the service of to be enjoyed the objects to be enjoyed wife children family members other things they are to be enjoyed everyone enjoys you know one has a wife one has a husband one has a children it is not that you know one has a real uh feeling to serve anyone it's like enjoyment it's a kind of sense gratification either whether it is a uh, whether it is a gross enjoyment or a subtle enjoyment it's a kind of an enjoyment so that kind of an enjoyment because we have deprived we we have forgotten our actual relationship as servants of supreme lord shri krishna we want to become enjoyer and we take pleasures in these things when that happens भोग्य वस्तु सेवाए नियुक्त थकले एंड देन वी एंगेज अवर जस्ट इन द सर्विस यू सी नो बडी विल गिव एंजॉयमेंट फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट विल एनी वन नो बडी विल गिव फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट यू हैव टू डू समथिंग इज इंट इट इफ यू आर लेट्स ए हजबेंड और ए वाइफ और ए चाइल्ड वॉट एवर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सट्रैक्ट एंजॉयमेंट फ्रॉम अ वाइफ यू नीड टू डू समथिंग फॉर द वाइफ और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट एक्सट्रैक्ट एंजॉयमेंट फ्रॉम योर हजबेंड यू हैव टू डू समथिंग फॉर द हजबेंड इट इज नॉट दैट he or she will give uh, give entertainment to you without you getting engaged in his or her service isn't it this material world is everywhere it is like that you give me enjoyment i shall give you enjoyment you scratch my back i'll scratch your back otherwise i will not that is the policy in this material world so when for the menial sense enjoyment when one overly gets attached in you know serving then sei sakal nashwar vastu te sneha then what happens in the first thing wherever you devote your energy you shall go there our guru maharaj he often used to say wherever we devote our energy our mind will instantly go there now i want to get enjoyment therefore i engage in his or her service then what happens my mind will automatically gets attached to that place why because i have invested my energy there a street dog who is barking on the streets two street two street dogs are fighting then we lift a stone and then on which dog shall we throw the stone which dog any of the dog you don't really care you just want to separate them don't want to let them fight but you bring one of those pets into your house you take care of him you serve him you offer him food you clean everything of his and now he is picking a fight with a street dog now whom will you throw your stone at obvious answer is not required why because i have given my time to this pet i have given my energy because i have given my time and energy automatically even my dog is at fault the stone will only go at the other dog because of the attachment in a similar way because we have we have given our time our guru maharaj used to give an example one person he had a very nice wrist watch very expensive wrist watch he is wearing wrist watch every time and then one time he has just you know just put it on the table to take care of other things meanwhile a thief has come and then he just stole the watch and then ran away from the house now because he has so much attachment to the watch he has been day and night he has been looking at the watch and probably it has it has been gifted to him by someone very dear to him whatever it is 
when that thief is running behind the, with the watch then this person is also running behind the watch that thief in order to catch the thief and get the watch if the thief goes into the temple he goes inside the temple if he goes inside the church he goes inside the church if he goes inside the wine shop he goes inside the wine shop he goes to some other place he goes there also actually guru maharaj used to say actually he is not going to temple he is not going to church he is not going to wine shop his attachment is taking him to wherever he is attached to so the object he is attached to that is actually taking him to that place externally he may be a different place but it is his attachment because of our engagement in due to our over attachment to material things these things will cause what 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 they will cause they will cause excessive bondage nashwar vastu te sneho asakti attachment and affection to non permanent things temporary things and tahake birah katar and then ultimately what happens is to any object we have attachment then one day we have to be separated from that object whatever it is because it is temporary it is material one day that separation is inevitable but because of our attachment to it what happens kapot dampati nai klesh paite hoy this pigeon couple that story is being explained here after this that just like the pigeon couple they have so much attachment to each other to their children but because of the at the time of separation had to undergo so much of a trouble it appears that they are all happy with lot of affection concern love care etc but when the time inevitable comes then it is very extremely difficult to forbear that kind of a trouble so this is what he has learned from a pigeon so now it is story time we have heard lot of philosophy right now it is story time so he is explaining through a story because people like us will understand kapotah kaschanaranye kritanido vanaspatau kapotyau bharjaya sardham sardham vasa katichit samah kono ek kapot aranya madhe brikhe vasasthan nirman purvak bhagyer sahito katipai vatsar tathai vas kurte chilo one time in a forest in a thick forest there was a pigeon and along with his she pigeon a female pigeon he has prepared a very nice nest in one of those trees in that forest and along with his wife in a very loving and affectionate manner he stayed there for several years they spent together the couple spent for several ta- years in the forest like that kapoto sneha gunito hridayo grihadharmino drishtam drishtyangamangena vriddhi vridhya vavandhatu grihadharm asakta kapoto kapoti स्नेह बद्ध हृदय दृष्ट दृष्टि अंग ओ मनेर द्वारा परस्पर दृष्टि अंग ओ मन आकर्षण करते थे सो व्हाट दे आर डूइंग दिस टू कपल गृह धर्म आसक्त दे आर ओवरली अटैच टू हाउस होल्ड लाइफ एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट बोथ दिस मेल पीजियन एंड फीमेल पीजियन ही पीजियन एंड शी पीजियन व्हाट इट डू स्नेह बद्ध हृदय सो मच अफेक्ट एफेक्शन टू इच अदर यू सी वी स्पेंड टाइम टूगेदर देन automatically we develop that affection but we spend time with sadhus we will not get that affection why because we will we are not getting the immediate fruit there enjoyment we are spending time so many years with gurudev with the sadhus deities we every day we are taking darshan of aarti every day we are doing parikrama every day we are singing gurudev kripa bindu diya no attachment why because there guru maharaj used to say there we have no sambandha gyan we are not doing it in the in the in our in the knowledge of relationship with the lord and the sadhus but when it comes to material life we see that there is relation 
that relation could be in, in the form of getting any enjoyment in any form. And because we see that kind of a relationship in the material world, then automatically we get attached. But with the sadhu, we are not getting because we are not seeing any immediate result or we are not doing it in the with the intent that we are supposed to do. The commitment that we have for sense enjoyment, the same commitment we don't have towards the spiritual objects. That's why Shri Bhaktivinoda Thakur writes, Vishaye je priti ebe achaye amar, sei mata priti hau charane tomar. He is telling that whatever kind of attachment, priti, love, affection or attachment that I have to material objects, my dear Lord, I pray that let me have the same kind of attachment towards your feet. I am not able to have attachment to your feet just like I am having towards the material world. Please bless me that I get attachment to your feet in such a manner. This is our position that we are overly attached to material things because of our immediate sense gratificatory desires. We are not thinking about our long term future but we are looking for okay what next what next moment what I am going to get. Tomorrow what is the result? I cannot wait for it. What result I am going to get next minute? I am ready to take that kind of an activity. So here, these two couple, this couple, the wife and the husband, the he pigeon, the she pigeon, sneha baddha hridaye, because of their affection in the heart towards each other, dishti anga o maner dwara paraspare drishti anga o man akarshan kurite chan. By, by the sight, by their beauty and by their mind they are attracting each other one is seeing affectionately to the other and the other is also seeing affectionately to the other one is the state of the mind through his body so in this way they are overly they are attached they are having affection towards each other this is just like what it happens in this material world this is what is the you know um, principle that is binding in this material world because we get immediate sense gratificatory desires, then we get trapped into this false illusory pleasures. But a person who has actually seen or you know has realized or experienced spiritual bliss, for him all these things are very very menial. But for us, it's very very far fetched. Shla Prabhupada writes in the commentary. Kapota Kapoti Stri Purushagato Atyanto Asakti Krame Indriya Tarpaner Chal Indriya Tarpanapur Chilo Evang Uhara Paraspare Prati Erupa Bhave Anugata Chiloje Paraspara Vichinna Hoibar Tatkalika Yogyata Chilona This he pigeon and the she pigeon, just like a male and a female were so much attached to each other that they were very much engaged in giving pleasures to each other. And so much of anurag, so much of love and concern each of them has towards each other that they couldn't imagine even a seconds of separation from each other. They, they cannot even imagine that, oh, I can stay away from this he pigeon or the she pigeon. Such, you know, such an affection they had towards each other. Bhagavad Vismriti Eirupa Jodas Neho Asaktir Karan. So, Shla Prabhupada says, So, what is the reason for this? We have to dig into the root. Otherwise, we don't, if we don't understand the root of all this, we are seeing everyone is watching. But the way that devotee watches or sees should be different. Everyone is seeing the object in a one way, but a sadhu sees in a very different way. And that is why if we come in association with the sadhus, they educate us. Shla Prabhupada is telling us that Bhagavad Vismriti, only because of the forgetfulness of Supreme Lord Sri Krishna, one gets attached to this kinds of love and affection and care. Because actual love, actual affection is in Golok Dham. In this material world, it's just a perverted reflection. Whatever relations are there in that supreme abode are also here. Dasya Sakya Vatsalya Madhur. They are also here. 
but they are a perverted reflection. Perverted reflection means just like uh, there is there is a tree and there is a fruit in the tree and in the shadow also there is fruit in shadow also there is tree and the fruit but the fruit is not real it doesn't taste real and that which is top in that material world becomes the bottommost here the tree which is the topmost part in the shadow it is the farthest part isn't it if you see the shadow of the tree the farthest part is the top of the tree which, which that which is the top in the spiritual world is very very far from us that's the perverted reflection this is the opposite reflection in that conjugal love loving exchange is topmost but here that is the most menial so here he is telling that bhagavan vismriti only our forgetfulness of the supreme lord brings such kind of material love and affection because finally we have this affection love etc all these things are there in us if we don't have if we don't exchange them with supreme lord or with the sadhu then we'll exchange them automatically with material things our guru maharaj often used to give this example because we have not considered krishna as our son we get a material son because we have not accepted krishna as our husband we get a material husband because we have not accepted krishna as our friend we get a material friend because these things are there we want a friend we want a lover we want a child we want this we want that this this want is there but this want is being misdirected it's not being directed in the proper way if we make krishna as our husband like mirabai did me rato giridhar gopal dusra na koi my husband is only giridhari gopal no one else she was married but she did not consider her husband ever as her husband she was forcefully got married but she never considered and for that she had to be in the prison her husband rana she had he had put him in the prison she accepted it it is my husband's desire which husband giridhari gopal not this husband not material husband it's his desire एंड जहर का प्याला राणा जी ने भेजा अमृत दियो बनाए राणा नाउ बिकॉज हिज वाइफ बिकेम हिज एनिमी यू सी द सेम वाइफ इफ शी फॉलोज नाइसली देन शी इज फ्रेंड एंड इफ द वाइफ शी डज नॉट फॉलो द ऑर्डर देन शी विल बी योर एनिमी इज इंट इट दिस इज वॉट द मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड इज एवरीवेयर हजबेंड और वाइफ और चाइल्ड इफ ही लिव ही और शी लिवस अकॉर्डिंग टू योर डिजायर्स देन ही इज योर डियर अदरवाइज नॉट so rana sent what a gift of poison because she wanted he wanted to poison meera and kill her amrit diyo banaye and meera she took it very blissfully nothing could happen to her she she could still start sustain and sarpon ki peti rana ji ne bheji he sent snakes in a what do you call in a basket and then the, those snakes are to be given to mirabai and they became a garland because if the lord is the protector he is the maintainer nobody in this world has any capacity to kill that person but unfortunately we don't have this faith the problem is with us not with the lord the lord is ever ready he is willing more than what we are willing to approach him he is more willing than us but the problem is we don't want oh i am happy i have children i have wife i have this i have that no problem like our indra he became a hog he has a wife he has children all hog <coughs> family in this material world that post brahmas that indra's post is vacant there is nobody sitting on singhasan in heaven because he is the king of all the devatas indra he is not there means heaven is under confusion under full chaotic situation alarming situation then everyone approached brahma my dear brahma dev you please do something then brahma came to the world oh indra has become a hog let me go let me request him come back 
So Indra came, uh, Brahma came to Bhulok to request Indra, please come. My dear sir, you are thinking that you are a hog. You are not a hog. You understand hog? Hog means pig. Hmm. You are not a hog. You are Indra. You are the king of heaven. Why are you sitting here? Come. Who are you sir? I don't know who you are. No, I am Brahma. I don't know who you are. I have a nice wife. I have so many nice children. They are obeying my order. I am happy here. You please go, go away. I don't want, I don't want to be Indra or Chandra, whatever. I am happy here. Because now his identity is his pig. And his immediate family is his identity. So, in a similar way, we lost our actual identity. And this so-called material pleasures, they are giving us happiness. So, the root cause, Prabhupada is saying that Krishna Vismriti, forgetfulness of our actual relationship with the Supreme Lord, is the cause of material affection, material care, material love, etc. Bhagavaner sneho, Bhagavaner prati jiver asakti nitya, taha viparjastu hoilei, nashwar vastu dvayar madhye, avirupa sneho, asakti prabal hoya, Bhagavat Vismriti rupa ananda bhas utpadan kore. So, our actual love, affection, everything is only towards Supreme Lord. The jivas are naturally attracted by Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. But because of our false identification, when we get attracted in this material world, then we get this temporary, permanently we are, you know, our affection is towards Krishna. It's permanent. But because of our forgetfulness, we have got this temporary attachments, temporary wife, temporary children, etc. And because of that forgetfulness, Ananda Abhas. It appears that there is bliss, but actually there is no bliss. It appears that there is happiness in this material world, but actually there is no such happiness. <clears throat> ಸಂಸನಾಟನಸ್ಥಾನವರ್ತಾಕ್ರೀಡಾಶಾನಾಧಿಕೂಯ್ಯಾಸ್ತಚಿತ್ತೆಕತ್ರಹಯ್ಯ
you know getting fed by him this is the way of you know affection this is the way one gets affection or you know love towards each other so in this way these two were assured that we are going to have a very nice life because she is very obedient to me and he is taking care of me and in this way they were very happily living together now shri prabhupada writes bhagavat vismriti hoilai baddha ji vibhinna vyavahare niyukta hoy evam भगवत धर्म क्रमे शैया आसन भ्रमण वृथा गल्प क्रीडा आहार और इंद्रिय तर्पण प्रवृत्ति कार्य नियुक्त तो होया पड़े व्हेन वन बिकम्स फॉरगेटफुल ऑफ द लॉर्ड व्हेन वन फॉरगेट्स द लॉर्ड देन द लिविंग एंटिटी विल बिकम एंगेज इन सो मेनी मेटेरियलिस्टिक एक्टिविटीज इज टेलिंग जस्ट लाइक स्लीपिंग सिटिंग वैंडरिंग talking nonsensical things or you know that which is of no use playing eating and other sense gratification desires a person who is forgetful of the lord he is doing all these things devotee is also doing the same things but the purpose for which they are doing is different a non devotee is doing he is talking nonsense rubbish he is playing he is wandering here and there for what in order to fulfill his pleasure sense gratificatory desires kintu sei sakal anitya karya mukta sevaka gane sarvadai krishna sukha sukha pararupe virajaman boliya tini bhagavaner seva vyatito ar kono prakar karje atmaniyog korena but a person who is servant of the lord or who is you know in the knowledge of his actual relationship with the supreme lord what does the, what does that person do he is not engaged in any activity other than the service of the lord he has no desire to engage in anything other than the service of the lord because he is fully fixed in the knowledge that he belongs to lord and his actual duty is to serve the lord therefore bhagavaner sevar jannai tahar shayya sthan sthapan in order to serve the lord only he sleeps the lo- the the devotee here that we cannot use the word sleep for the devotee he rests a devotee never sleeps sleeping means immediately tamoguna comes ignorance one sleeps in the mode of ignorance but the devotee does not sleep in ignorance he rests he gives body his re- rest to his body so that again his body becomes fresh to engage in other activities therefore it is not wise to use the word sleep for the vaishnavas one 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 past time is there written in that sweet book that you can read guru maharaj tells me about rest and sleep the difference between rest and sleep so you can read that so only for the purpose of service the devotee takes rest the devotee wanders he goes from place to place for what for sense gratification no the devotee goes from place to place only to bring welfare upon the other living beings just by the darshan of a devotee just by the sight of a devotee everyone gets immediately delivered therefore his purpose to to speak or to give darshan everything is or to wander here and there only for the service of supreme lord vakya kalapadi javati yo kriya anushthita hai and speaking all these things are only meant for service sometimes we may see that the pure devotees also speak about some material subjects sometimes what material subjects what according to us is material subjects when someone is coming from a far off distance oh, how was your travel everything okay any difficulty that you faced you know are you okay in the mart your your food is okay this kind of conversation several times guru maharaj did this seems to be you know not an intelligent question isn't it a sadhu is not supposed to ask this kind of a questions one may think so but this so called you know ordinary material conversation of a sadhu is also 
to bring welfare in the living entities because by that you see ordinarily people like us we get attracted to such kind of you know affection from anyone and the sadhu is more affectionate than anyone else his concern is real a sadhu's concern is real not you know a fake one to show to others so that he gets enjoyment because it is real out of that affection out of that concern when he converses in a, with any person in that manner it is it only imprints hari bhajan in him just like guru mara used to give example of prabhupada's ordinary conversation with a small boy kamla kant go sai when when prabhupada was in assam when a small boy was following the bullock cart of prabhupada prabhupada was sitting in the bullock cart and you know bullock cart was moving and one small boy about 10 12 years or so he was running after the bullock cart because he saw such a beautiful sadhu attractive person tall figure handsome and you know very effulgent so when he was running behind the bullock cart like in the villages even now we see you know the small children they run they catch the if any rickshaw is coming or if any car goes inside the village then they hold that car and then they re- run behind you know even i used to do when i was a child you know holding some autos and then running behind you know some kind of pleasure that child gets that we cannot explain <laughs> but anyway so he was running behind the bullock cart and prabhupad he explained what is your name where are you from where is your house are you studying what is your father he was only asking these questions he did not say oh krishna you are servant of krishna you should serve we have become forgetful that is why you got this human birth why are you wasting your time come and do hari bhajan nothing he was only saying what is your name which class do you study and what is where is your house who is your father what is he doing that's it he went back to his house after few years he could no longer stay in his house he could no longer stay back in his house he his father was a, a jataku sai is a is a is a is a you know preceptor uh, in the guru lineage in the you know karmakanda lineage he was the he was the preceptor and he is going to get in the heritage he is he is going to become next acharya but none of these things could catch him in this material world trap him in this material world he became so restless oh i have seen that personality i want to go there his mother told oh you are gone mad why are you going here and there you took birth in a high class brahminical family and you are eating in gaudiyamat you stay here he simply said if you don't allow me to go there i shall not stay here any longer he gave up he became ashram maharaj in our mat our prop our param gurudev sai plashram maharaj is there his name was kamla kant gosai when he was a child he became later became ashram maharaj param gurudev disciple so it was a seemingly ordinary conversation just an ordinary conversation not anything in relation to krishna or krishna bhakti but still the pure devotees whatever they speak their purpose is to please supreme lord their purpose is not to please the child i want to please the child so that i get his attention or love or care whatever but prabhupada's purpose was not that to please supreme lord shri krishna and therefore because the sadhu's existence is for the purpose of supreme lord whatever activity he does is for that sake only and hence it cannot be called as material any activity of sadhu cannot be called as material so <clears throat> जावतीय क्रिया अनुष्ठित है एवरीथिंग ही परफॉर्म्स इज फॉर द सर्विस ऑफ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड सच्चिदानंद भगवत वस्तु सहित पार्थक्य स्थापन फले जीवेर ए दुर्गति सच्चिदानंद भगवत वस्तु सहित पार्थक्य स्थापन फले जीवेर ए दुर्गति बिकॉज वी हैव सेपरेटेड अवर जेल्स फ्रॉम सच्चिदानंद सुप्रीम लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण वी आर इन टू दिस misfortune because we have identified ourselves as separate from the lord so he is telling that particularly sachidananda word is used eternal 
knowledgeable and blissful principle because we have separated ourselves from it we are in the danger of our own misfortune yam yam vanchanti sa rajan tarp tarpayastanu kampita tam tam sama samanayat kamam kritre krishne naapya अजितेन्द्रिय हे राजन कपोती सहसा दृष्टिपात ओ आलाप आदि द्वारा प्रीत्युत्पादन सहकारे कपोतेर कृपा भागिनी होया जे जे विषय प्रार्थना करितो अजितेन्द्रिय कपोत अति कष्टकर होइले ओ तत्समुदय संपादन करितो सो हियर ही इज टेलिंग हे राजन माय डियर यदु ही इज एक्सप्लेनिंग टू यदु राइट अबदूता इज एक्सप्लेनिंग टू यदु किंग यदु सी इज टेलिंग माय डियर किंग कपोती दिस शी पीजियन सहसा दृष्टिपात बाय हर ब्यूटीफुल साइट अफेक्शनेट ग्लांस अपॉन द ही पीजियन एंड आलापादि द्वारा एंड ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड्स वेरी वेरी स्वीट वर्ड्स विथ हर स्वीट वर्ड्स अफेक्शनेट ग्लांस एंड प्रीत्युत्पादन सहकार एंड बाय हर so much of love and concern as if she is waiting for the mercy of her husband the ship is yan is is you know speaking so sweetly politely and uh, you know with a beautiful sweet glance waiting for the mercy of her husband by seeing this je je vishay prarthana karto whatever she is asking for because such a sweet manner she is asking oh i want this i want this please get this for me can you do this for me in such a beautiful way in a smiling manner affectionately and as if she is completely dependent on the mercy of her husband she is praying to him so whatever she is asking for ajitendriya kapot because this he pigeon is ajitendriya because he has no control over his senses he also wants sense gratificatory desires so in order to get the sense gratificatory desires he has to fulfill the desires of his wife isn't it only if she is happy he can be happy otherwise he can also be not happy she will not let him live happily so whatever she is asking for because he is in he is ajitendri is not you know uh, he has no control over his senses कपोत अति कष्टकर हो तत्समुदय संपादन करते इवेन इफ इट इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट द ऑब्जेक्ट दट शी इज प्रेइंग फॉर और आस्किंग फॉर ही वुड डू इट इवन इफ ही हैज टू अंडर गो सो मच ऑफ अ ट्रबल और हार्डशिप्स ही इज वेरी हैप्पीली एक्सेप्टिंग दैट एक्चुअली दिस इज कॉल्ड कंडीशनिंग वी कॉल कंडीशनिंग राइट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कंडीशनिंग कंडीशनिंग मीन्स to accept a f- false state in anticipation of a better thing it is con- we are conditioned means what is conditioned soul conditioned soul what is the meaning of being conditioned we are conditioned to accept this way only that's it that you know you are conditioned to get distress you are conditioned to get unhappiness or you are conditioned to get miseries you cannot get out of it what is the meaning of air conditioning you are conditioning air right to the temperature you want that is air conditioning so we are also conditioned to the misery or to this so we are conditioned in that way so here he is telling that in order to get the pleasures in in anticipation of pleasures he is you know running after whatever his wife has requested for please bring me this you are the one, my dear husband only you can do it in this way she is very sweetly speaking to him and then he is you know, we call like you know chati phool jana is like you know <laughs> his his uh, you know his chest is enlarges yes i am the only one who can do it and with that he is fulfilling the desires even if it is very difficult to do hey maharaj kapoti surataal sahasa drishtipat 
ओ आलापादी द्वारा कपोतेर प्रीति उत्पादन करित सो इन दिस वे ही यूज टू फुलफिल द डिजायर्स ऑफ द शी पीजियन सी दी स्टोरीज आर वेरी नाइस टू लिजन बट वेन इट कम्स टू प्रैक्टिस वी आर अगेन लाइक दिस पीजियन ओनली वी हियर but unfortunately the thing is that we are very happy listening oh this is his state but actually we are not understanding that is our state isn't it this is actually our state whatever is being explained is not the state of the pigeon through pigeon he is explaining to us this is your state try to understand but we call others as rascals we ourselves being rascals is he is a rascal right actually we am a rascal he is a fool he is a non devotee he is an atheist but actually i am i am that so here this is the lesson that we have to learn from this pigeon <coughs> je sakal vyakti shla prabhupad writes je sakal vyakti swashwa indriya samuher adhipati ekmatra bhagwan ei katha na janiya apnake rishikesh tulya mana kore strain hoya arth sangraher dasatve indriya tarpana indriya tarpanai indriya tarpan vasanai jagate nana karjer आवाहन करिया बोशे एवं भाग भोग्य कपोतिर जन्न भोक्ता कपोत जेरूप अविवेचनार कार्य करे तद्रूप बुद्धि चालित होया स्थूल शरीर द्वारा नश्वर जड़ानंद संग्रह करते व्यस्त ताहादेर सत्शिक्षार जन्न ही कपोत कपोतिर दाम्पत्य ओ परस्पर विवाह कातरता उदाहरित तो होया छे। श्री प्रभुपाद इज सेइंग दैट व्हाई इज दिस एग्जांपल बीइंग गिवन हियर अबाउट द कपल ऑफ मेल पीजियन एंड द फीमेल पीजियन एंड देयर ब्यूटीफुल लविंग मैरिड लाइफ दे आर ब्यूटीफुली मैरिड सच अ यू नो नाइसली वेड कपल सो व्हाई इज दिस यू नो स्टोरी बीइंग टोल्ड टू अस ही इज टेलिंग दैट द लेसन इज दोस पर्संस who are under the control of their own senses if senses become the masters wish if one makes the intelligence as the master then his life will be successful but if we make our senses as our masters means if we are controlled by our senses the five senses are running in five different directions and the person who is sitting in the chariot that is the soul his life is going to be hellish so he's telling that those persons who are under the control of the senses they don't understand that supreme lord is the soul enjoyer he is the soul proprietor everyone else are to be enjoyed by him alone i am to be enjoyed by him everyone else is to be enjoyed by him he is the only proprietor he is the only master he is the only enjoyer because of our being uh, you know our servants of the senses becoming servants of the senses we forget this fact that actually we are all servants of the supreme lord and therefore rishikesh tulya mane kare he thinks that oh i am the enjoyer i am the master i am supposed to enjoy my eyes i am supposed to enjoy my ears why did the lord give eyes he gave me to enjoy why did he give the ears he wanted me to enjoy so he thinks that oh these are the senses are there only for my enjoyment or this world is there for my enjoyment why did the lord create beautiful flowers this is for my enjoyment he has created why is this prakriti created why is the nature there for my enjoyment so he forgets that krishna is the only proprietor and everyone else is to be enjoyed he forgets that and therefore strain hoya he becomes completely under the control of his wife because he wants sense gratification to fulfill his own senses he want he has to obey the orders of his wife therefore he becomes subservient in other words is called henpecked being henpecked by the wife artha sangraher dasatve and now in order to enjoy he has to attain wealth he has to find means to fulfill the desires of his wife alone no problem but now he has wife if he has to take care of the wife then he has to earn money so he becomes a servant he thinks that he is a master originally but ultimately he becomes a servant i give this example that you know a person he takes a dog on the streets 
to exhibit his you know mastery you know i have such a these days you know the best dog you have the richest person you are isn't it that is your your wealth is measured on the scale of what kind of what breed of dog you are you know have keeping in your home in the mornings if you go for a morning walk rich persons they carry the dog to exhibit their richness to others so it is the it is the measure of their richness unfortunately it's taking so many shapes one after another i don't know in future what will happen so they want to exhibit their richness and he shows that you see i have such a big dog he goes in the you know park he thinks that he is the master of the dog but unfortunately he doesn't realize the dog is his master the dog wants to stay he wants to pass stool he wants to pass urine or he wants to scratch this he wants to scratch that the master has to wait for him to finish off whatever he wants to do he is not following the master but the master is following him okay you want to stay here you want to talk to that she dog okay you talk to him i am waiting for you you want to pass urine okay i am waiting for you do it <laughs> isn't it but he thinks that i am the master of the dog but actually dog is the master so in a similar way we think that falsely we are the enjoyers therefore in order to get happiness i shall please her now if i have to please her then i have to earn money he thinks that he is the master but actually he became a slave he became a slave he thought that he is going he is the master but he became a slave dasatve indriya tarpanai jagate nana karjer avahan kare and in order to fulfill those desires he performs so many kinds of activities everything that he performs to only to fulfill the his desires evam bhogya kapotir janno bhokta kapoto je rupo avivechanai karya kare and he does not think like a donkey we heard right like a donkey does not think that food is available anyway why should i work unnecessarily so he just keeps on working oh i will get happiness only if i do this i will get happiness only if i do this he just goes on doing it only to fulfill the desires of the his his or her counterpart so this is what is the lesson is telling that this the couple the male pigeon and the female pigeon their life in this forest why it is being explained that because of our forgetfulness we are engaged in all these things उहा इहाते बद्ध जीवेर कपोत कपोतिर न्याय संसार प्रवृत्ति सो थ्रू दिस वन हैज टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज द स्टेट ऑफ द कंडीशन सोल्स दिस इज द स्टेट द शी पीजियन एंड द ही पीजियन स्टेट दैट इज द स्टेट ऑफ द कंडीशन सोल्स ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड सो दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग तहादेर सत शिक्षा अर्जुन नहीं दिस पर्टिकुलर नरेशन इज बीइंग told only for giving instruction or teaching to everyone those who are conditioned in this material world to get material happiness so we will stop here and then continue tomorrow jai shri mad bhagavat mahapuran ki jai shri krishna dwai payan ved vyasa maha muni ki jai paramaratam shla gurudev em param gurudev ki jai shla prabhu pad ki jai gaur premanand Ahem. <clears throat>